Good morning, students. I am Anisha Ji, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE from RMD Engineering College. Now, we are going to see about Introduction to Mobile Ecosystem. This is actually a fourth unit. So, last three units we have covered what is HA, everything related to computer and interaction. Now, we are not seeing any related to mobile ecosystem. Now, we are going to see about everything, what it is working in the mobile ecosystem, what are the components of that, and what way the interaction is very much possible in the mobile ecosystem. So actually, what is this mobile ecosystem is? It is a collection of multiple, it is a general term, what is actually ecosystem is? Ecosystem is the general thing that comprises of all the living things. It is a general ecosystem, all the living organisms. And in the terms of mobile ecosystem, it consists of multiple devices, mobile phones, tablets, tablets, software, OS development tools, testing tools, and what are the companies, device manufacturer, carriers, app stores, development, testing companies, and the process by which the data is transferred by a user from one device to another device or by the device itself based on some programs. So there are the layers of mobile ecosystem, those services, application, application framework, operating system, platforms, devices, aggregators, networks, operator. So what there are many actually, if you see these are the application layers and the application platforms. Each layer is reliant on the other devices to create a seamless end-to-end -end encryption. Although not every piece of the puzzle is included in every mobile product and service, for the majority of the time, they seem to add seamlessly for giving an internet connection. And this mobile ecosystem, regardless, is working in the following section and these layers. And the next layer is the platform. What is platform? Mobile platform, primary due to is provide access to the device to run software and services on each device. We need a platform or a code programming language in which all of the software is written. Like all software platform, they are split into three categories as a licensed, proprietary, and open source. And what does this licensed platform or sold to device makers for non-exclusive distribution on device? The goal is to create a common platform of development, application programming interfaces, APIs that work similarly across multiple devices with the least possible effort and uh, to adapt different devices, although that is hardly reality. So following are the licensed platform, Java Micro Edition, Java ME, binary runtime environment for wireless, DREW, Windows Mobile, and the demo is from Linux Mobile. Okay. So what is this Java Micro Edition is formerly known as Java 2 ME, J2ME, most predominant software platform of any kind in the mobile ecosystem. Licensed subset of the Java platform and provides a collection of Java APIs for the development of software for resource constrained device such as phones. Binary runtime environment for wireless BREW. BREW is a licensed platform created by Qualcomm for mobile devices, mostly for the US market. It is an interface independent platform that runs on a variety of application frameworks such as C, C++, Java, and Flash Lighter. So what is this? Windows Mobile is Windows Mobile is a licensed and compact version of the Windows operating system combined with the suite of basic applications for mobile device that is based on the Microsoft Win32 API. And what is this Linux? This Linux-based mobile platform created by the Limo Foundation. Limo is a licensed mobile platform used for mobile devices. Limo includes SDKs for creating Java, native, or mobile web application using the WebKit browser framework. The next topic is, we have completed what is licensed. The next proprietary platform. Proprietary platform are designed and developed by the device makers for the use on their devices. These include Palm, Blackberry, and iPhone. So these are the proprietary platform. Palm uses three different proprietary platform. Palm OS a platform based on the C, C++ programming language. This was initially developed for the Palm pilot line 
but it is now used in low end smartphones as palm moved into higher end smartphones they started using the windows mobile based platform for devices like the trio line the most recent platform is called webos is based on the webkit browser framework and is used in the free line blackberry research in motion maintains their own proprietary java based platform used exclusively by their blackberry devices iphone apple uses a proprietary version of mac os x as a platform for their iphone and ipod touch line of device which is based on unix next is open source platform obviously if it is an open source uh, it will be android only so open source it is an example of open source platform as android open source platform or mobile platform that are freely available for users to download alter and edit android is one of these platforms it is developed the open handset alliance which is spearheaded by google The alliance seeks to develop an open source mobile platform based on the Java programming language. Thank you.